Hello, I'm Delusion Dispeller, and welcome to part three of Can My Therapist Be a Narcissist? Number 12. Narcissistic therapists thrive on an exclusive relationship with only you. A relationship that they claim nobody else can relate to. They see that they have a common bond that's special with only you. If you find yourself flattering the therapist because they seem to eat it up, all your compliments and the things that you say about them being so wonderful and so knowledgeable and so helpful. If they're eating it up and that you're probably dealing with a narcissistic therapist, it's okay for a therapist to enjoy compliments. But when they are excessive or they seem to pull them from you or expect them from you, then the client and you need to be redirected in some way. So if you see like you're in therapy and you feel this need to constantly feed the therapist's ego about how wonderful they are, then there may be a definite imbalance going on there. Okay, number 13. A narcissistic therapist urges the client to be crippled without their guidance so that they can make a name for themselves as the one who fixed you. You may believe that you have to go to the therapist forever or you can't survive. I want to give you a quick situation scenario with this. Years ago, I went to Codependence Anonymous. And the lady that was running it asked me out to breakfast. And while we were talking, she said to me, Oh, I've been part of CODA, which is the name for Codependence Anonymous, for about 20 years of my life. I go to all their meetings and I always will. Now, tell me something. I'm all for AA meetings, CODA meetings, NARC Anonymous, whatever works for you. But how, <coughs> excuse me, is transferring one imbalance, one addiction into a dependence on another addiction healthy at all? What I mean by that is, okay, you join Codependence Anonymous, CODA, because you are attached to people or you are a caretaker of people to the expense of your own self-esteem and self-worth and needs and values and whatever. So how does attaching to this group for the rest of your life in a very obsessive way, like you can't live without the group, how is that healthy? Now, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of flame mail and whatever, but that's just my opinion. I thought it was very odd myself to think that I could ever be in any group for the rest of my life without ever deviating from that group. To me, I just, I couldn't do it. All right. Number 14. A narcissistic therapist will not answer to anyone, which is why they are usually an independent therapist with their own shingle above their office. Some of them work from their home, but the point is they don't answer to anybody. They're not working under the jurisdiction of a clinic. Generally, they work just independently so that they can run things and choose their own rules and get all the narcissistic supply they need. Okay, as a life coach, I have many people that I receive input and critique from. My spiritual father, my mother, my husband, um, which at this point isn't giving me any critique because he's not with us, um, other counselors, and even you, my viewers, offer me guidance and correction at times, which I'm very grateful for and very appreciative of. So, narcissistic therapists don't value that extra critique and accountability, and that's dangerous. Number 15, if a client dares to question or object to how things are run in the therapy situation, the narcissistic Therapists will often end sessions or threaten to end sessions, threaten to smear the client, or air their issues in public if they don't stay with them. If anyone has input on any of these things that I mentioned, please share it with me. Please subscribe to my channel, email me at delusiondispeller at gmail.com, and if you're interested in a session, also contact me at delusiondispeller at gmail.com for details on that. So these are just some tips on how you can recognize is your therapist a narcissist. Thank you for watching this video, this remake 
of Can My Therapist Be a Narcissist? God bless you and remember, eyes wide open, moving forward.